Hello, I'm Wayne Anderson, assistant football coach at Erskine College in Due West, South Carolina. Today, I'm going to talk about the slide route. Now, in my opinion, the slide route is kind of the lost route when it comes to the run and shoot offense. It's a great concept, but a lot of coaches uh, don't run it as much as, as other concepts. I know even myself, I'm guilty of even though it's in my playbook that I don't run it as much as some of the other concepts in the run and shoot offense. I'm first going to take you um, to how I first learned it back in 1992. Now I've refined it years later, but to kind of give you an idea of how I first learned it. And again, with the run and shoot, the great thing about the offense is once you learn the base formula things, you can create your, your own flavor of the offense. Now, for me, running slot. I always run it with motion. Now, you can run it without if you choose to, but myself personally, I always choose to run motion. And there's a couple of ways that you can do that. Either A, you can line up in even and motion a receiver across, or you can line up in three by one and have front side two motion in to the inside leg of the backside guard and work his way back out. For practical purposes today, we're gonna to just talk about motioning across the formation. Now, the first time I learned slide, I learned it being diagrammed on a McDonald's napkin at lunch one day with a good friend of mine. And this is how I initially learned it. So we're gonna run a version of 80 slides, so we're running it to the right. So the Z would take three steps and run more of a traditional slant route to, the, to 10 yards. And if he did not receive the ball, by the time he got to that 10 yard landmark, then he would continue to work vertical upfield. And we'll say for the sake of argument, this is against a uh, single safety high um, cover three type of coverage. Now, front side three, He would run a vertical route. And again, when he'd get to his landmark at about between 14 to 16 yards, if he would read that free safety. If he sat in the middle of the field, he'd continue to go. If he went towards the receiver, then he would snap it across his face and run to green grass. The X on the backside would have an outside release running vertical upfield. Our motion man, he would motion across and at the snap of the ball, he would run what we would call a fish hook route. And he would, that fish hook would be where the initial alignment of the Z receiver would be. And he would be aligned on top of the numbers. So against a single safety high look, this is what we, we would have. And the quarterback would be re reading the flat defender. So if the flat defender sank to take away the slant and the corner dropped, then he would throw it to the fish hook. Now the corner dropped, the flat defender buzzed to the flat to take away the fish hook then he would throw the ball 
to the outside receiver running the slide route. Now also, on his first step, and we'll talk about, for instance, the majority of the time with a half roll. On his first step, he would peak at front side three. And if he thought that he could stick that ball in there at about eight to 10 yards, with this or this, the quarterback would raise up and hit that right in there really quick. Also, if they got any type of dogs pressure to the inside, He would snap that off and run a slant and he would replace the dog linebacker blitzing. Now, if we had a cover two situation, Here would be the variation against cover two. Again, we'd have our streak read. We have our slide. And now our motion man, and instead of him running the fish hook, he would just automatically convert it to a wheel route off the sideline. And lastly, if we had some type of, of man coverage, we'll say for practical purposes, we have got um, cover one, we got man free. We're, we're manned up. Like against cover two, our motion man would motion and run the wheel up the sideline. Now with running that wheel, he would run that between the bottom of the numbers and the sideline. So to be able to give the quarterback enough area to throw the football. Our Z would run a three step slant. And then our Y, our front side three, he would run vertical five yards upfield and then break it across. So we would create a type of rub with, with the two defenders. And that's how I initially learned the slide concept. Now, again, over the years, I've refined the slide concept in my offense, and we'll talk about those concepts and different changes now. All right, we're going to talk about 80 slide. Again, single safety high, cover three. Now, again, X is responsibility, is outside release, and control coverage. Now, alignment, especially on the front side, which is very important. Now the X, he's lining up on top of the numbers on the back side. Front side one, the Z, he is lining up also 
at the top of the numbers. Now the Y, which will become front side three, he will line up initially on the college hash marks. So for you high school coaches, that means that he'll line up two yards inside the high school hash mark. Now, in, again, we'll talk mostly about running this with a a traditional run and, run and shoot drop and not in the gun. We have our motion, motion man. So at the snap of the ball, he should be about five yards away from the outside receiver at the Z. And when he, when the ball is snapped, he is going to run a bubble. Now, two important things about the bubble is that A, that bubble needs to be five yards in depth. And one of the ways to be able to Make sure that he runs that depth is that when you're teaching the route, put a cone out here at five yards. And so he has to run around that cone. Another aspect that's important is that when he gets to the apex of the bubble and starts coming downhill, that he is alignment is right behind the Z receiver. So with that being the case, when the quarterback throws the ball, if he is throwing it to the bubble, two important um, coaching points are this, that A, the quarterback wants to throw it to the receiver's numbers, and B, he wants to throw it about two feet in front of the receiver. Because one of the issues with the bubble and the reason why you use the cone is if that bubble is not at the proper depth, it's very hard for the receiver to get his shoulders around to be able to catch the ball properly. Now, let's talk about front side three. Front side three, he initially is starting at the college hash mark, but he's gonna work his way up the high school hash mark. And when he gets to his landmark at 14 to 16, he has a seam read. Now, the Z running the slide route, he's taking three steps up field, one, two, three, and then he's running the slide at the angle. If he was on a clock, he's running that at 11 o'clock. So now the quarterback in this scenario, he is reading the flat defender, which in this case would be the strong safety. In his half roll, he could throw the ball either on his third step, his fifth step, or even his seventh. And one of the critical things with the half rule is the quarterback being able to use his eyes. So if the flat defender sits or hangs on his third step and his half roll, his eyes are going to be on that flat defender and then by the time he gets to his fifth step his eyes are going to snap from here and then he's going to throw the bubble on his fifth step now if we're in a scenario of if that flat defender shoots to the flat 
then same premise. He's going to keep his eyes on that flat defender as he's running to the flat. And then on his fifth step, he's going to snap his eyes and he is going to throw to the Z receiver running the slide route. Now, again, as we talked about earlier, the Y or the front side th three also has the blitz conversion. Now, for instance, if we are in the gun and running our angle drop, then obviously he'd be one, two, three, keeping his eyes on the flat defender. Now, another scenario we have, especially if you're on a hash mark going to the wide side of the field, sometimes coaches like to play the cornerback inside the outside receiver. So they'll play, you know, the entire width of the field and he has a landmark, especially with so much field that they have to cover. So if we are in that scenario and at the snap of the ball, he's playing inside, we're going to attack that leverage and he continues to drop and plays inside when we get to that 10 yard landmark with our slide route we're going to break it off into a fade so the quarterback is going to be able to throw over the top also with the bubble his conversion if he does not receive the ball he is going to work his way upfield normally between the numbers and the sideline okay let's talk about we have a two safety high look Right now we have a slide against a two safety look. Front side three. He's to his landmark. He has his scenery based on the half field safety. Now we have our slide. He's angling the pen, getting to his landmark at 10 yards. We have our bubble. Now, the scenario here is we know that it's cover two. We've got that press corner, and he is playing, playing hard. What the Z receiver is going to do is that he is going to read the first defender inside the flat defender. So if this defender hangs in this area, then he is going to convert again and make that into a fade route and an important technique with making this type of, of route conversion is A, that the receiver show numbers to the quarterback. So he may break it and he may throttle down a little bit to find the open window area and he wants to be able to show his numbers to the quarterback. Now, if that defender wants to widen so we have some type of scenario like he'll drop into a cover four and he's going to snap it 
into the next open window. And again, here we have the bubble and if that corner sinks, then he's gonna break his conversion and can continue to run upfield. So that's what we would have against um, two safety high look. And again, the quarterback, he'd be either throw on three off his third step, his fifth step, or his seventh step based on the coverage. Now, if we get a man free coverage. Now for practical purposes, again, when we motion across, two things can happen. When we get to this point, the safety could bump off and take the motion man into front side two, or the defender covering him on the back side will trail him all the way across. For practical purposes, we'll just talk about the backside defender trailing all the way across. Now, straight man coverage, we got the outside release and because we know it being man with our seam read, we are converting into an in route. Now, there's two scenarios here that we have that if we make a man call as he's motioning across, instead of running the bubble, he is going to convert that to a wheel route between the numbers and the sideline. And that's if we make a man call. Now running the slide, our receiver is gonna take his step, one, two, three, and then he is going to work to the high school hash mark. Once he gets to the high school hash mark, he is going to break vertical upfield. Now, if a man call is not made, the receiver running motion will continue to run the bubble and then he will run his conversion upfield. So again, if you want an easier throw, you can make that man call and run the wheel. Now, if there's a scenario where he comes across and it looks like man, but it plays, they're playing three deep zone, if you made a man call, stick with the man call. Don't try to change it on the run. Now, another scenario, if you get man two on top, another option, again, is with front side three, you can get him at about five to eight yards and run, run an out route. So that's a different option that you can run. Either A, run the in, in route at his landmark, or B, you can convert it and make that about a five to eight yard out route. So whichever you, you choose to do. 
Now I'm going to talk about some variations of the slide route from other coaches. All right, we're going to talk now about 80 slide even. 80 slide And so with this being the case, you know, we're going to be in a two by two formation with slide even, we are going to, again, motion in to the inside leg of the backside guard and then motion out and he'll run the bubble. The Z to the front side will take his three steps and run the slide. Now, here's what we talked about earlier in some other videos about combining concepts to help build your playbook. So on the back side of slide even, it looks like choice, switch. The A in this scenario, he has the shallow, just like he would in choice switch. The X will be running the seam read. So he's making the break for the high school hash mark, getting upfield vertical. And then when he gets to that 14 to 16 yard landmark, He's going to run the seam read based on the coverage. So again, so the quarterback is reading one to two on the front side to three on the back side. And again, you have the A here to control any type of dog pressure inside the box. So if we have dogs, He'll make that hot call, hot, hot, hot. He'll settle into the open window of where the dog linebacker vacated. So this is slide even. This is from the Denver Gold. Another route with the Denver Gold. is 80 slide wide hook. So we have our slide route. We have our motion man coming across, running the bubble. And now the Y has an option that 12 to 10 yards, so up to 12, back to 10, and he's running a hook route. So again, if the defender's playing inside of him, he'll hook up to the outside. If the defender's playing outside, he'll hook up to the inside. And the X receiver on the back side is blowing the coverage. Now, the last one with the Denver Gold is now to the X receiver as the primary route runner. So this would be 80 slide Y corner, z, excuse me, X post. And the reason why we would run this 
is because the free safety started to get too no nosy to the front side. So with our motion across, we have the bubble, we have the slide, We have the Y now running a corner route and we have the Z, excuse me, we have the X running the post. And this is basically a one, a one route read. And again, the X is the primary receiver in this throw. So when the quarterback gets to his fifth step and he's free safety rolling towards the corner, he's going to throw it to the back side to the X. And the X is responsible for basically splitting the difference between the corner and the free safety. So those are some different route combinations from the Denver Gold. Another good option, and this is great, inside the 20, inside the 10, inside the five, the five yard line, uh, a really good, um, like I said, red zone area. And this is what we would call 80 slide Dutch. And what that means is this. We have the X controlling coverage. We have the motion coming across, running the bubble. Now, with Dutch, the Z receiver, instead of him running the slide route, he is working up field to the depth of five yards and then running an in route. The Y, he is running the Dutch route. It is based on the leverage of the defender. If the defender is playing head up or inside shade of the Y, he is breaking to the corner route. And this is his landmark again also is a depth of five yard. So if the defender is playing outside shade of the Y, then he is running a post route. Again, this is a great route against man coverage, uh, inside the 20, inside the five, uh, good opportunity to score touchdowns with. Last variation that we're going to talk about is a slide into a no back situation. So on the back side of this, we have outside release. We have the A running the shallow to control the dogs on the inside. So now we are using either lion or ram motion with the super back. And in this scenario, it would be ram motion. We're going to motion him out to run the bubble. Now the Z will have the slide route. 
Now the difference in this concept out of no backs is the Y. Now the Y is going to work to the pro hash mark. So he's gonna work inside to the pro hash marks and get vertical upfield. And then when he gets to his landmark at 14 to 16, he has had, his conversion will be a fork read conversion. That is something that I talked about in an earlier video. He has a fork read. So he can either go vertical, run a corner route, or run a post route based on coverage. So, so we've got basically here, quarterback is reading one to two on the front side and then he's reading three to the fork read. Again, we have the backside two. He's responsible for any type of dogs or anything of that nature. And again, also, if there was some type of perimeter blitz for whatever reason, the Y would run to that vacated area. So, here is some, some ideas about the slide route, um, some different variations. Again, this is just the way that I've run them over the years. You may have some other ideas, which is awesome. And again, I thank you very much for your time. God bless and have a great day.